couple of years back there were a lot of disruption going on in the market but right now it's you have the right kind of accelerators that are there from sap the accelerators the tcs is bringing in the accelerators google is bringing to the table the power of hana as for hana and the power of cloud all of these things coming together at the right time so i would say for customers it's probably now or never so if they have a digital transformation that they have in their roadmap this is the right time for them to take it up and kind of uh, go ahead with it brilliant thank you and harris yeah thanks um it, it, as i think about what our customers are faced with you know they're faced with an ever changing environment a geopolitical environment an economic environment and it's really important that they are agile and nimble and that they have complete visibility across their enterprise so you know to, specifically to your point of what they can do to future proof their organizations in a cloud environment I really think it's important to put in place an integrated end-to-end -end solution that allows them to have that visibility across the organization. To do that as Ramesh said, it really requires a digital core. You can call that S4HANA, right? Um but you know, you know the solution itself, the digital core itself integrates all of these business processes. Whether on the you know one side it's you know marketing, sales and service, you know on the other side maybe it's you know product innovation, manufacturing and supply chain. Obviously we don't want to forget about finance and HR, but all these processes need to come together and integrate so you've got complete visibility across the enterprise. You don't want to be spending all of your time worrying about putting in the infrastructure, you know, as Brian and Doug were talking about. You don't want to spend all your time thinking about, you know, how do I connect and, and build accelerators? like Ramesh was talking about, we want to bring a platform and a solution that provides the visibility you know, across the enterprise. So you understand, you know, you know, what's your trade promotion and your revenue growth management plans? How does that feed into my supply chain plans? How does I, that affect my, um, you know, my financials? How do I optimize those? And last but not least, how do I take advantage of this modern platform that brings in artificial intelligence, machine learning, you may call it RPA, you know, so that I can be more efficient in my organizations, right? How do I do more with less? How do I do it faster, better, cheaper, and get better insights? So these are some, uh, you know, some key things that we think about and that you know, we love our clients to continue to dive into. So hopefully that helps. Brilliant, thank you. And Doug? Yeah, I mean, as I think, I think it's, um, you know, would be the same for all the three companies on here is that it, it's a customer centric approach, right? We're all about the customer at the center, every one of us as we work day to day with our customers. And from my perspective, when I talked about limitless data and merging up the data, uh, it's about really kind of meeting the customers where they are and where they want to go. So they're all starting and maybe want to stop in different places along the path, but it's really for all of us to give the right guidance on where they are today and where they would like to go and being very flexible in that approach. And the cloud can really enable you to enhance your SAP environments or enhance just your overall data insights across the board. I think we've talked in the past on some of these webcasts about Home Depot as one of our key examples where they've created this whole interconnected retail environment, leveraging all the tools between SAP, their SAP move to the cloud, enhancing that with a limitless strategy of data and getting all those signals. And really, it was meeting them where they wanted to be and then moving forward. So it's really a customer centric approach um, is my final takeaway. Great. And last but not least, Brian. <laughs> I would say we've seen a major chasm get crossed in the sense of for years, technology enabled the business strategy. I would submit to you now, technology is very much a part of the business strategy. And I think the message, especially in CP, in retail, is, is be bold. Uh, the, the coalescence of these three parts, like we've only gotten better in the ecosystem at delivering solutions. You've heard about the pre-built content, the clean core, the modern architecture, the speed by which we can deliver these, you know, SAP's amazing business process platform. 
But then like what Doug mentioned, we've gotten much more agile. These are not three, five year projects anymore. These are three to five month, very high returns on capital, very rapid time to value. And I'd go back to the customer. Think about the demographics of the US and the world. Digital natives are proliferating organizations now. You have folks in the boardroom who have been comfortable with technology for 20 or 30 years. Let's embrace that because I think it becomes a recruiting tool. I think how you get the best and the brightest in your organization, a huge component. Sure, it's your mission, it's your purpose, it's your commitment to sustainability, but it's also the technology, the technology by which you can reach consumers and customers, the technology by which you can service your customers and suppliers. And then ultimately, back to Harris's point, I think the goodness that you create as a culture, a data-driven culture, that ultimately allows you to get into adjacent categories, outwit, outmaneuver, outwork your competitors, and really drive sustainable growth.